I came here today to, to explore more on the study opportunities in Japan and more on Japanese language course, short term or long term. I just really have like an interest in the Japanese culture and the language and stuff and I find the, hand, the history really interesting. So, Well honestly it was my friends who like asked me to come with them but I'm also kind of interested in like the Japanese anime and food. I'm also considering like research opportunities in Japan because I'm currently doing a master program in, in London and then now next year I will be like maybe do a PhD or another master program, I'm not sure, so I came here to find more options. I was just just curious about things such as doing postgraduates in Japan and the, the SOAS year abroad and so forth. There, there was no reason not to go, I guess. I saw a flyer at my uh, college, so I was like, it, and I'm quite interested in Japanese culture and the people, so I thought, oh, I'll come along and see what it's about. I've done a, a couple of Japanese events before and about this event it was actually proposed by Facebook to me and since I'm always interested into visiting Japanese um, events I thought why not go to this one. I thought it was really interesting and I found out loads of things about studying in Japan that I didn't know before so it really helped me decide about whether I wanted to study in Japan in the future or not. I thought it was really good, very informative, and it was like a, generally it was a very good experience. Interesting and um, and also useful. I learned a, a lot about postgraduates in Japan. I got a, this much documents, and um, <laughs> so so yes. It's nice. It's well organized and uh, it's pretty diverse with different options and opportunities for, for study or work in Japan. It's quite nice. It's quite interesting coming here, finding out about um, stuff that I need to do to either go either to university or work in Japan, um, even just to travel over there. It was, it was quite good. There was a lot of information on board. It was quite overwhelming to a degree. I think it's really nice. Um, I thought there would be more like information handed to you but especially the last um, lecture I found really interesting and yeah, I really liked it. I was really um, just looking for information on studying and maybe working in Japan or teaching English and I found out all of that. Yeah, and a lot more. Generally, yes. Mostly I got everything that I sort of came here looking to sort of get or expecting to get. Definitely, yeah, I would say so. I think it like advertised a lot of different opportunities in Japan and I found out a lot more like of different things that I didn't know about before. I feel like being able to talk to people who've experienced like Japan was like a good like experience and talking to them like first like one-on-one. -on -one. I also wanted to maybe live there as well so this really helped me like go towards that dream even more. Yeah I feel like I really want to go and travel and see everywhere in Japan. Well, I mean, I'd already decided I was going to move to Japan after finishing my degree, so that wasn't really um, wasn't really in question. Um, in terms of making me want to do a postgraduate or not, um, that's that's still up in the air. Um, I mean, it's 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 good to have the information so I can make a more informed decision. More or less, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd love to go study in Japan, but um, I'm a musician, so I want to go study music if I'm going to study over there. Um, I was thinking about doing this uh, before anyway, so um, yeah, it definitely encouraged me into doing this and just, I don't, I don't know, just made me know that I really want to do this. I really like the history, the fashion, the art, and probably just like all the traditional stuff as well, like calligraphy and stuff like that. I find it really fascinating. On the whole, the, the culture itself and uh, the language, the food, uh, the plays, uh, yeah, basically everything. Because I, I, I like Japanese culture very much since I was little. Um, I really like its culture and its people. Uh, I like the respect in the culture. Food and the anime. But I feel like the culture is kind of interesting as well. It's become everything, really. You know, I love the traditional culture and the modern culture. Um, I've, I've been really interested in Japan for eight years, I've been there four times. So I want to live in Japan, study in Japan, get more opportunities to, 
to communicate with with Japanese people and to polish my Japanese, maybe. I'm quite into the anime, like the subculture of Japan. I've been interested in the Japanese uh, culture for many years now. I started when I was nine with basically just anime. Um, I grew really to like, I grew um, in liking the culture more and more. I started reading books about it, um, studying, attending events and studying the languages. And the way they speak and think is so different from our European way of um, thinking. I feel like it's a traditional country, but it's slowly becoming more and more, I guess, um, like less traditional. I don't know how to explain it, but just different. I think it's like a mixture between two contrasts. Like it can be seen as a very cute country in a way, the way they speak and are portrayed. I think it's very different to England in quite a lot of ways, but I think it's quite interesting and some of the cultural things sort of make sense, like the politeness to older people and stuff like that. And then the other way, very strict and polite, and I kind of like this clash between both sides. Um, so I'd say it's a, it's a completely different um, culture from what we're used to, and the language is also completely different, which also influences the way they think. I, I do like how, despite, despite everything, they've managed to keep a lot of a lot of the traditional culture while still, you know, also developing a modern Japanese culture. Good food, uh, people are nice, they're polite. I really like the, the what I see is how they respect people um, and the respect system they have. It reminds me of somewhere that's still very, like, traditional. It's very, like, proud of its history, I guess. Like a place that's familiar but also kind of unknown and different.